Hi, I'm Dr. William. I'm a plastic surgeon in Miami. I'm going to try today to explain something that's always been a little bit difficult for me to explain, and that is what is the difference between a seroma and swelling after surgery? Because we're talking about fluid, but it's fluid in different places in different amounts. So let me demonstrate this by showing you a tummy tuck. So imagine this. This is a patient's abdomen. What's in red are the muscles, and this is the belly button. And then this black outline is extra skin. So this is somebody that's having a tummy tuck. So what we would do ultimately is we would remove this extra skin and that would be discarded and then they would be have a nice flat abdomen we tighten the abdominal muscles give you a new belly button so that's what a tummy tuck is so in order to do that what we have to do is we have to lift the skin and the fat off of the abdominal wall okay so this redness here that's your belly button this red is the abdominal wall just to get you oriented abdominal wall and this is the overlying skin and the blue rec uh, represents the fat okay when we do a tummy tuck in order to get rid of this extra skin to throw it away so we can leave patients with a nice flat tummy is we have to lift the skin and the fat up off of the abdominal wall so we free it up we free up all of these little connections here we literally cut through them so that we can lift this up so we can then pull it down we pull it down so that this tissue gets lifted up off the abdomen and then pulled down and cut off that's generally what a tummy tuck is now when you lift the skin and the fat off of the abdominal wall that creates a potential space that your body's not accustomed to having because normally the skin in the fat are stuck right down to the muscle with the little fascial attachments but we break these attachments we lift the skin up so we can pull it down but it creates this space and we'll leave a drain in here to help get rid of the fluid so fluid will a hundred percent accumulate in this area so that is fluid and that is your body's own fluid it's what we call lymph fluid so your body will accumulate that we leave a drain in that area to get rid of the fluid we remove the drains once this has stuck back down and closed that space and your body can get rid of the fluid on its own we remove the drain but that doesn't happen right away after surgery because we've broken all these little attachments this comes back down you can get some fluid in here and that is what's called a seroma so that is a seroma it's very easy to treat because what we do is we just take just this is just if someone's here I'm on a stool and I'll just insert a needle and it looks kind of worse I think in this little diagram but we'll insert a needle into that that fluid on a syringe and will suck that fluid back out and that fluid will come out and it'll accumulate in here and as that accumulates in here obviously this area goes away and then we're relying on this skin to stick back down and close that space and therefore there's no more fluid so that's what a seroma is it's free fluid in this potential space between the muscle and your skin that we can remove with a syringe that fluid is very very different than actual swelling which is something different let me explain what swelling is then so this is after a tummy tuck now where you've got your skin you've got your muscle here that's your muscle you got your skin you've got some fat and everything is stuck back down so in this situation there's no free fluid okay there's no free fluid meaning there's no seroma there right there's no fluid collection but if we look at it at a little bit more detail now let's look at where the fluid is for swelling because remember swelling is all also fluid the only difference is it's not free fluid like a seroma is remember this fluid here where this is free fluid that I can put a syringe in a needle and a syringe and remove that fluid now what we're talking about is not free fluid it's still fluid but it's not free fluid so where is that fluid well that fluid is throughout the little what we call the interstitial space and so if we take an even closer look at this and we start to look and see okay where is that fluid well if we look at the skin level but we blow this up then there are skin cells in here there are skin cells throughout your obviously your whole body is made up of billions of cells 
And so these are cells, they're skin cells. There's also, you know, fat cells below this. And so the fluid that we're talking about is in two places. It's within the cells. So the cells themselves are more swollen because they have more volume because they have fluid in them. And the fluid is also in between the cells. And what that is called is that's called the interstitial space. I want you to think of this interstitial space kind of like cotton batten or a sponge. It's actually a gelatinous material. It's like a little bit of a goop with all the cells are kind of in this little goop. But that goop has the capacity, just like a sponge interstitial space, has the capacity, the ability to take up fluid and to swell. And in fact, that's normally how your body heals is through a process of that interstitial space swelling. And there's nothing we can do. You have to just go through the process of swelling and then have your body naturally get rid of that fluid again as you heal. But there's no way you can take a needle and put it in to this area to get fluid because it's not free fluid. Seroma is a collection of free fluid. But what we're talking about when we talk about general swelling is swelling of all of this layer and none of that we can remove with the needle. So that's a difference between swelling and a seroma. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I'll try to explain it in another way if that wasn't clear to you. Uh, or if you have any other comments about suggestions for other videos or if you have other questions, just leave them. I go through the comments, so please go uh, leave a comment for me.